Hello and welcome to this quick guide Final Cut Express video tutorial. The procedures that you're going to see is good practice for any new project. So I'm about to start a new project in Final Cut Express. The first thing that I'm going to do is to create a folder for my project to be stored into. I'm going to store this folder on the desktop for now. New folder. And I'm going to title this folder the same title as my project, Galvez09. Now I'm also going to create some subfolders inside this main folder. Those subfolders are additional media that I might pull from other sources that I would like to include in this project. So I'm going to create perhaps an image folder because I might grab some images I want to use for this project. I might grab a music folder in case I want to put some music, perhaps so I've put in GarageBand. And I might have some additional footage from other sources. Finally, I'm going to create a project folder. This is my folder that I'm going to store my Final Cut project in, or Final Cut Express project in. I'm going to shut this down. As you can see, I now have this new folder on my desktop, and I have Kangavis09, and I've got these subfolders, footage, image, music, project folder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Final Cut. Now if you've been working on a previous project, and you may have that project come up first. What I just do is go to File, and select new project because we are working on a new project. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set the scratch disk which basically means I'm going to tell Final Cut this is the folder in which I want you to put all of the files generated and the project itself inside this folder. So I'm going to go to Final Cut Express I'm going to go up to System Settings and it's going to open up a new window. My only concern is this top line. I'm going to click Set. And I'm going to go and put it into the project folder, which you can see it's really there. So I'm going to go to te Desktop and Garvis09. I'm going to find my project folder. This is where I'm going to store the project. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to show you that one more time. Setting the scratch disk is very important when you begin any new project because you need to make sure that when you come back to your, your project, Final Cut knows exactly where the project is stored and where all of the files associated with that project are stored. So I'm going to go to Final Cut Express, System Settings, click Set, and just to recap, we go to Kangalvis09, Go down to project folder. Remember, I set this this folder up, this subfolder up to store the actual project. And you can see that it's already there. So I'm just going to click cancel because I'm happy with that. I'm going to click cancel here as well. So there you go. You set up your scratch disk. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go and save your project. Just like a Word document, as you work on a project, you're encouraged to save. But before you click save, you have to save as. So you go to file, save project as. And we're going to go to that same folder. There it is, Gengalvis09. I'm going to go to project folder. And I myself, I'm actually just going to put it into this folder. And I'm going to title it Final Cut Express Gengalvis09. And we'll go all the way to the bottom right hand corner, click save, and there you have it. I've set up a new project, set my scratch disk, and saved that project. And now I'm ready to begin editing in Final Cut.